My name is Bob Watcher from UCSF, Department of Medicine. And now let me show you how to calculate if you need to put your mask on. I'm guessing you, like me, are struggling with whether it's time to get back to normal. I'm going to join him in a few weeks. Yep. I'm going to risk, I'm going to rip my mask off. I was in Florida at a party outdoors and it began to rain. And here's what I did. I immediately got out a napkin and started writing down probabilities. So we got to decide, should we go in and rip our mask off? Um, let's do context. I'm still fairly healthy. Whatever that means, that could mean any number of things. I'm vaccinated, so that's good. Because we really need to focus on my personal risk here. That's the most important thing. Florida, 100 cases per 100k per day. It's basically fucking huge, as big as the Delta Surge. There's many home tests, so this could be off. It could be off. It could be off. So let's start that as a starting point of it, where it could be off. Mind you, I'm thinking about all this as I'm preparing to write on my napkin, right as it's raining. I'm running towards the door, but then I, I dash to the side. My Pfizer shots reduced my risk of getting COVID by 50%. More importantly, three shots have reduced my case by 95%. What about long COVID? Nobody fucking knows. Let's just assume something there, okay. Okay, what about long-term organ dysfunction? What about my old mom? I finally thought about someone besides myself. It's a miracle. There's 40 people in there. Everybody is, says they're vaccinated and rapid tested. And I'm sure that's no problem. Getting one of those rapid tests. We're all fucking rich. That's fine. Most of them are in the blue states. Great. Last COVID, right? So in Florida, it's 17%. So I'm about to write on the napkin. I swear, oh, we're going to get there. But based on our experience at UCSF, asymptomatic test positivity rate tends to be half the overall test positivity rate. So what that means is, you know, half of that maybe, probably, could be in Florida symptomatic. And we don't have to worry about uh, symptomatic people. Because, obviously, they would not come to a sweet, sick party with oysters. Okay, but even 8% is too high. It's too high. You know, the reason why is because all these people are fucking amazing. Uh, they're just really great. I know, I don't know. I just assume that they're all really safe. Even though they're going inside in the middle of the Omicron surge. But they're really safe, I promise. So we're going to go with 1 to 3%, you know. Could have been 17, could have been less, but we're going to go with 2%. 1 in 50. Excellent. B, C, K for background. This is easy. Therefore, in a group of 40 people, there's 55% chance that at least one person was positive and potentially infectious. If you're confused about how I got from 1 in 50 to 55% chance one or more person at the party is, don't worry about it. I did it in my head. It's easy. I was right about to go into the party and did it in my head. Don't worry about it. Now we have 33% chance attack rate in the house. Okay, let's write that down too. 0.33. And that's the, the attack rate. In a fucking house. So let's say 5%, let's say, let's say 5% chance of getting infected. Remember, there's only a 55% chance that such a person is there. That chance would also drop with good ventilation, which is why we kept two doors open. So you follow me? It's clear how this modifies the probabilities we have in mind, right? Right? You guys are following me, right? Okay, we're going to get there. Okay, that's what I was thinking when the rain, rain began to fall. I went through all of this with my mind. Now here's my math. All right, here we go. We did that, we did that. 
We did that. Okay, 10%. I don't... Well, where does 10 come from? Odds? Wait, so... Oh, we decided that it was 1 in 50. Wait. Exposure times risk. It's 1 in 50. Okay, it's 1 in 50, guys. Trust me. The odds of coming in close contact, 1 in 10. Wait, how do you erase this? Erase it. No! Okay, eraser. Oh, it's so tiny. Shit. Okay, we're erasing. No, I've erased the graphs. Okay. Pencil. One in ten. And that was time. That equals one in fifty. Excellent. Right. One in fifty. And this is a sure thing. This one in fifty is for sure. There was at no point any ambiguity or uncertainty about any of these terms. So this is solid. There's no way it's like 5 and 50 maybe or 10 and 50. I There's just no possible way I could be off in multiple components of this calculation. And there's no way that uncertainty wouldn't multiply together in the end. I wrote all this on a napkin and I was like, I'm going in. And then I tell my mom that 33% attack rate, mom. 1 in 50 times 33% mom. Mom, it's fine.